Hi, it's Tara Green, and I want to bring you the astrology and a tarot card of the day. It's already June the 2nd. I feel like I lost a day there. Uh, so the moon's in Pisces, so we're feeling very dreamy and, you know, drifting off and daydreaming and night dreaming, very strong psychic energy right now. So pay attention to every little nuance and synchronicity, very strong right now. We're coming off a of moon, Jupiter conjunction yesterday morning, so we're still feeling kind of foggy, maybe. Um, the moon squares the sun, so we're halfway to the next lunar event, which is that big solar eclipse in Gemini on June the 10th. Uh, the moon sextiles Uranus and Chiron and Aries, so um, we may want to be able to talk about and think about our wounds, wounds in a brand new way and really connect with our bodies in a different way. You know, Uranus and Taurus is all about being innovative and creative and thinking outside the box so we can really listen to our bodies in very unique ways. So that's a really good energy to use. Sextiles are very supportive energies where the planets are 60 degrees apart. Now, Venus says goodbye to Gemini and she enters Cancer. So we're getting into much more watery territory. So time to bring out your mermaid suit there and uh, get into the water and be by waterfalls and pools and ponds and oceans and rivers or whatever, even in your own bathtub. So when Venus enters Cancer, the sign of the mother, the sign of home, the sign of nurturing, food, our tummies, comfort, what we need to feel emotionally secure, there's a really big focus on that. Uh, Venus will be in Gemini just only for the next, sorry, Venus in Cancer for the next few weeks. Um, but really, it's a time to be really sensitive, very emotional, really listen to what you need to feel safe emotionally and to nurture others, of course. So it's a very fertile time uh, for women who want to get pregnant or if you want to conceive anything, anybody can conceive anything, um, but especially something that's emotionally meaningful for you. Um, it's a cleansing time. It's a good time to go on a juice fast or a water uh, fast, just cleansing in general, really washing away the old dirt, the grime, the depression. Things have been heavy, and also Venus and Cancer may bring up some old childhood memories, some beautiful ones, maybe some not so beautiful ones, so you need to remember to love the inner child, okay? Make sure that she feels safe or he feels safe, or whatever gender your childhood self feels safe. Okay, now the moon will conjunct Neptune tonight, uh, 9.31 p.m., that specific daylight time, and of course, three hours later on the 3rd. So this really is one of the strongest every month when the moon conjuncts Neptune and Pisces, the strongest dreaming night. So really use that energy, really do sit in meditation before you go to sleep. Ask for what it is your, your soul needs to tell you about, you know, ask what your new dreams are. You know, Neptune is going to be squaring that lunation, the Gemini uh, solar eclipse. It's not a total solar eclipse, but uh, that's really about questioning what your dreams are. Your dreams may want to take you in a new direction. It's also a sense of cleansing, letting go of addictions. Uh, again, visualization, compassion, charity work, all of that. Beautiful Pisces, artistic, creative stuff. Uh, and then the moon squares retrograde Mercury in Gemini again. So that might come up in your dreams. Mercury is a psychopomp. I love that word, the messenger between the worlds. Um, Mercury rules merchandise, actually marketing, um, tricksters, pirates, things like that. Okay, so all those aspects repeat on the third. So definitely very dreamy. It's a good time to plant seeds right now, which I'm going to do. I'm going to get up my garden and plant some more stuff. Okay, so the card of the day. This is from the beautiful Muse Tarot. This is the number three, the Empress, uh, and she is Venus, actually. So speaking of Venus and Cancer. Um, so in this Venus, this is a non-traditional deck at the, her heart. She has a, a shining star or the sun, and then all the planets emanating from her heart. Um, and in these kind of crystal spheres. So from her heart, everything is birthed, it looks like. So the heart and the womb, and Cancer rules the womb, are the two major points in the body. And if they're working in balance and harmony and the energy is directed from the womb up into the heart, that's how we conceive everything, especially for women who have actual physical wombs. So the Empress, um, she's kind of veiled in mystery a little bit here. Traditionally, the Empress is shown as a pregnant woman, a great um, the great mother, mother nature, 
all of those beautiful aspects of uh, beauty in every aspect. So, you know, make yourself beautiful. Come home to your beauty. Come home to what makes you feel beautiful. Uh, I'm definitely going to be working on this one. And drink a lot of water. So if you want to get in touch with me, I'm at terratero.com. Please follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on TikTok sometimes. Come to my Gemini uh, Solar Eclipse Workshop. It's the day before. It's on June the 9th, uh, 7.30 p.m. That's Eastern Daylight Time. You can sign up at my website at terratero, or uh, there's a link uh, to my link tree on Instagram as well. Okay? Um, sending you many blessings. Enjoy the swimmingness of it all. <laughs>